Welcome back. As I mentioned earlier, today is World Kombucha Day. And some of you are likely very excited about that. Others may be saying, kombucha? Do I know what kombucha is? Well, this guy right here is going to explain all of that. He is the founder of Spring Branch Kombucha, Chris Aulis. Welcome. Good to have you here. Great to be here. Thank you for having us. All right. Give us real quick the Re Reader's Digest version. Of what the heck is kombucha? So kombucha is a fermented tea and uh, it is fermented with a, a culture called the SCOBY, and that's a symbiotic, stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria right. and Yeast. And the yeast and bacteria actually work together to uh, do different roles uh, in a, they have, again, this, it's a symbiotic relationship uh -huh. between these two, and they create this effervescent, bubbly, delicious drink we call kombucha. Okay, a fermented tea, it's got a little bit of a vinegar taste to it, just a little. Correct. Now you also have other flavors, though. Talk about the flavors that you sure, have. Sure, sure. So the base flavor is always going to have a little bit of acetic acid. That's a, right. a byproduct. That's a byproduct. Uh, and that actually is from the the bacteria side of exactly. the fermentation. Mm -hmm. But then after the, it's done, then we flavor it, and we have I, I have six flavors today. I actually forgot. We actually have seven total out right now. Uh, but we have six different flavors: uh, lavender on one end here, going to elderberry, uh, lemon hops, strawberry rose and uh, raspberry basil. So it's not like what you're drinking tastes like a vinegar. It tastes like a nice strawberry or a lavender. It's delicious. It truly is. Talk a little bit about the health benefits of kombucha, because that's what got you into it, right, right? Right, So what I was first of all looking for was a uh, uh, just a healthier beverage to drink, rather. I was I was drinking a lot of diet soda. Uh -huh. uh, I, I actually started brewing kombucha because I was brewing beer. Uh, and so uh, looking for different alternatives for both beer and uh, soda led me to kombucha. Right, right. And, and so you're looking at, a, a as a fermented beverage, uh, it's an acidified food, and it's generally just good for your overall digestion. Sure. That's the biggest benefit uh, for kombucha. Um, I personally, uh, you know, have, have experienced a, a lot less acid reflux uh, by being a, nice. uh, a, a kombucha drinker. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's there. The the panacea of benefits uh, differ from person to person. Sure, they do. And I, I've heard a lot of people say that they truly, and dietitians will tell you this, really gut health is kind of the key to your overall health in so many ways. And this definitely helps with that. We have a little video of your operation that I want to show right. you guys at home. So what, what are we seeing here? Okay, so this is uh, we're, we're, this is my brother Matt, who is our head brewer, oh, that's and, your he, brother. and okay. he is uh, adding sugar to our tea. And then we have these gigantic tea bags that mm -hmm. we use for uh, brewing the product. And then this is our uh, canning line. After the kombucha is all completely finished, uh, we we actually can all of our product in house. Isn't that something? Quite an operation. And when you started brewing your own, did you? visualize all of those giant stainless tanks back there and actually doing this? Not I mean, at all. No, oh. no. Uh, we, I mean, we knew that if we ever had to, were able to scale to meet, uh, or, you know, to be an official company, yes, we'd have to eventually get to something like that. But no, uh, I, we didn't picture that because I can tell you we would have built a bigger facility. <laughs> we need we a bigger had, boat, right? Yeah, 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 we, yeah. We, we, uh, we would have definitely built a bigger building uh, because we, we outgrew it almost before we even got started. It's just amazing, and, and, and part of the reason you were telling me that you and your wife, Jessica, got into this is because your friends loved it. And they said, where can we get it? Would you make us some? Yeah, it, and you're like, well, sure, I'll make everybody some. Yeah, <laughs> so, so you know, it's kind of hard to uh, start a business uh, without a little bit of encouragement. Mm -hmm. And uh, our encouragement came from friends and family members who kind of just started pestering us saying, we need more of this well, and I'll tell you, make it for us and we'll even pay you for it. Well, and, and there you go, a business is born. Um, you know, I took a couple of four packs of these to a Super Bowl party. I didn't drink a drop. I didn't have a beer and have a glass of wine. I drank kombucha the whole night. I drank a couple of these, felt great. Um, and they're just really, really delicious. By the way, what you're seeing right here is oh. at the new high V. You can get these fresh on tap and you've got the growlers right next to it to go with it so people can pick this up there. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled to death. Uh, I mean, and as your, your show earlier today, uh, the, the beginning of the tour of this hy it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty amazing store and we're thrilled to death to be there with, uh, eventually we'll have eight, full, eight flavors on tap. 
Okay, and eventually maybe your own tap room somewhere. So <laughs> Some, someday, yes. we'll stay tuned for that. All right, Chris, it's great to talk to you, and best of luck to you and Jessica. Keep it coming because I absolutely love it. Thank Good you work. so much. Spring Branch Kombucha, good stuff. Happy World Kombucha Day, by the way. All right, it's time to check out what is.